The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Detroit Tigers vs. St. Louis Cardinals Kansas City Royals vs. Houston Astros Colorado Rockies vs. Chicago Cubs, Game 1. Colorado Rockies vs. Chicago Cubs, Game 2. Los Angeles Angels vs. Baltimore Orioles and Tampa Bay Rays vs. Philadelphia Phillies, which are happening on Wednesday, August 25, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Detroit Tigers vs. St. Louis Cardinals. The Cardinals pitching staff has been average to good this season. As a team, they are in the middle of the league in ERA, runs allowed, and whip. Giving up the long ball has been no issue at all. They are first in the MLB in home runs allowed. Walking batters and striking out batters has been a major problem. The Tigers entered the season with many expecting them to be one of the worst teams in baseball, and through the first few months, many weren't wrong. Detroit will be without a few key players on Wednesday afternoon, with Knight Goodrum, Groin, out, along with two catchers, testing their depth at that position. For Detroit, it has been a next-man-up mentality this season, and that will surely continue to be the case on Wednesday afternoon. The Cardinals are second last in the league in walks allowed and last in strikeouts. My betting advice for that game is to pick under 8.5. It was a surprise considering the Royals have the fifth worst run scoring offense in the league. They aren't a team typically known for piling on the scoreboard, but for whatever reason, the switch flips against the Astros. Granted, it didn't flip in Tuesday's shutout loss, but the Royals have to be determined to finish the series how they started. The Houston Astros snapped a two-game losing streak with a win over the Royals Tuesday. Luis Garcia got the win to improve to 10-6 on the season. With a win, the Astros are 74-52, which places them first in the Isle West. They are 4.5 games ahead of second place Oakland. More importantly, they need another offensive implosion from Houston. Things got downright ugly in the opener for an Astros team leading the league in batting average, 0.268, and ops, 0.782. What's more likely? A gem from Mike Miner, 5.34 ERA, starting at pitcher or another heroic stand by Kansas City's bullpen. Neither is likely on paper, but then again, weird things tend to happen when the Royals play against the Astros. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. Colorado Rockies vs. Chicago Cubs, Game 1. Colorado is expected to hand the ball to right-handed ace German Marquez for the second game of its series in Chicago on Tuesday. The 26-year-old right-hander rebounded from a poor outing in his last appearance, allowing three runs in six S frames to beat the San Diego Padres. The Cubs' pitching staff has been poor this season. The Cubs are bottom 10 in the league in ERA, hits allowed, runs allowed, whip, and batting average against. Walks and giving up the long ball have been an issue for the team. They are currently bottom 5 in walks allowed and home runs allowed in the league. Marquez has now logged quality starts in three of his previous four outings, while pitching into the sixth inning or later in 10 of his last 11 starts. In 25 starts this season, Marquez is 11-9 with a 3.80 ERA, not bad for a pitcher that was 1-4 with a 5.49 ERA in his first eight starts. My betting advice for that game is to pick under 11.5. Colorado Rockies vs. Chicago Cubs, Game 2. The Cubs came into this season with lofty expectations, considering the level of talent on their roster. All of that came to a halt with their fire sale at the trade deadline. Colorado will hand the ball to emerging Southpaw Austin Gomer, who will try to close out the season strong after a rough month of August. In four starts this month, the Rockies' left-hander is 1-2 with a 6.75 ERA. Overall, he is 9-7 with a 4.15 ERA in 21 starts. The Cubbies shredded away their young core of Chris Bryan, Javier Baez, and Anthony Arizzo. Thankfully, they were able to hoist the World Series crown a few years ago, because a long rebuild looks likely. My betting advice for that game is to pick under.
Quick reminder, you can get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Los Angeles Angels vs Baltimore Orioles the Baltimore Orioles have been struggling offensively this season, as they are tied with the Chicago Cubs for 22nd in MLB, with a .698 ops. However, that number is even worse when facing right-handed pitchers, as they are only ahead of the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Texas Rangers with a .674 ops. The offensive numbers shrink in the last 15 days, 13 games, as they are only scoring 2.15 runs per game during that stretch. First baseman Ryan Mountcastle has been doing well this season as he has a .788 ops with 21 homers and 65 RBI, while stealing four bases in seven attempts. Los Angeles has not been able to overcome an injury to star outfielder Mike Trout this season. The Angels are coming into this series on a three-game losing streak after being swept by Cleveland over the weekend. They had picked up a three-game sweep over Detroit in the previous series, but that momentum was halted. Los Angeles is 11.5 games back of Houston in the American League West standings, putting them in fourth place. The Angels are also nine games back of Boston for second place in the Owl Wild Card race. Their offense ranks eighth in the majors with a team batting average of .249. If Baltimore can hit better against righties, it will do wonders for them. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. Tampa Bay Rays vs Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies are only a few games behind the Braves in the division and could reach the playoffs this season for the first time since 2011. One of the reasons for the team's success this season has been their pitching with Zach Wheeler, allowing only 56 runs and 26 starts while striking out 194 batters as a possible Cy Young Award candidate. Moreover, Wheeler is only allowing a .211 expected opponent batting average, a .310 expected opponent slugging percentage, and a 2.71 expected ERA, all of which are among the best for starting pitchers this season. Ryan Yarbrough will either start or follow an opener after one inning. Yarbrough was flawless in his previous outing, tossing five shutout innings against the Orioles in an easy win to lift his record to 7-4. The veteran right-hander was struggling prior to that performance and is having an inconsistent season as seen in his 4.57 ERA, which is countered by a terrific 1.17 whip in 124 innings pitched. He gave up two runs in 4.1 innings against the Phillies earlier this year and has conceded seven runs, four earned, and 12.1 carrier innings. The hope is that Wheeler can step up as the offense has struggled lately, scoring only 4.46 runs per game this season. Reese Hoskins has 26 home runs, and Bryce Harper has 23 home runs, as well as a .410 on base percentage and a .561 slugging percentage, but the back half of the lineup has struggled for the team. The hope is that Andrew McCutcheon and JT Real Muto, who have combined for 35 home runs, can help add to the back half of the Phillies lineup, as the batting order has only scored 21 runs in the last seven games. Tampa Bay continues to dazzle and should win the Al East, considering they have a comfortable four-game lead ahead of the Yankees. No one has been able to contain the offense, and the pitching is usually reliable. They earned a series win against the White Sox last weekend. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 8.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.